When I say the name Misumaru Tamatsukuri, what comes to mind? Well, probably not much. But she's a character from the 18th Toho game, Unconnected Musketeers. And I firmly believe she is basically the Raditz of Toho Project. She's underappreciated and underrated. Why? Because not only is she a master blacksmith who specializes in dragon ore and dragon orbs, but she's actually the crafter of Reimu's yin yang orb. You know, the one she yeets at people that explodes them, and primarily the one she probably kicked around a lot in PC98 that let her defeat gods like Shinky. So it's a, it's a pretty fucking big deal to have a yin yang orb that can yeet gods out of existence. And despite all that, this character is barely recognized. Like, not only do Reimu and the others not trust her at first, even though she only wants to do the right thing and keep trying to pick fights with her, but Reimu doesn't even know she created the Yin Yang Orms until she's like, yo, Reimu, that thing you're trying to bash my brains in with, I made that shit. If you ever want another one, don't make enemies with me. That's not exactly what she said, but you can infer that uh, maybe, maybe she shouldn't be made of an enemy of. But see, this is why I believe she's uh, vastly underrated and underestimated. Because if she made the yin-yang orbs, but Reimu doesn't know her, that means she made the orbs for the Hakurei in general. Perhaps these orbs were passed down from generation to generation, which could feasibly mean that she actually knows what the Hakurei god looks like. She could have been contracted by him. He's like, hey, because we know he's a guy. Otherwise, like, you know... Otherwise, why wouldn't he have shown up already, right? Zune is, like, very uh, hesitant about making important male characters appear in the game, so, like, he might become appear in a manga at some point, but whatever. <laughs> Let's say he was like, yo, I need my followers to have weapons that don't suck. Can you do that? And she's like, yeah, I can do that. And then she, like, made a contract with the Hakurei clan or whatever, you know. And it was passed down. So that's why Reimu doesn't know who she is, because it was from her ancestors or whatever. But, um, yeah, for the most part, her character was mostly glanced over. Like, I found her by chance. I was going through the TV tropes. I'm like, okay, let's check out Toho 18. I read her profile. I'm like, wait a minute. Crater of the Hakurei Orbs? Uh, that's a pretty big fucking deal. And it's like, hmm. I wonder what the... Wonder uh, what the potential is there. Like, does she know the Hakurei gods? Or, you know, it's it's inter interesting. And I believe that uh, there's a lot more to a character, and it can be utilized a lot more than it is now. Unfortunately, knowing Zune, we might not ever see much come out of it. She might be a Raditz. She might just show up and be like, I made this thing, and then that's it. You know, it could be cool if Rain was like, hey, could I get an upgrade? Ha, I'm kidding. Rain will never get an upgrade. She's like, Frieza. She's like, I win everything. But after the ending of the la latest game where she got her butt whooped, maybe she'll like, okay, fine. Maybe I need to train and get a new weapon. And that's where Misumaru comes in. Wouldn't that be exciting? I think so.